Well, it looks like the uh, the week three upset ring still happened. So now it makes you beg the question, was removing the fourth preseason game a good idea? Is starters being stubborn to not play preseason games biting teams in the ass? Or are we just still in this no one knows what the fuck's going on, so we're all just kind of m m mashing buttons and hoping for the best? Either a lot in store for the rest of the season, where nothing is guaranteed. Roll the intro. Hello everybody and welcome to week 4 of the 2024 NFL season and my prediction picks. I'm your host Catherine and you're on the Blanket Indian Cat YouTube channel. I say meow, I roll intros. I, I love my job. <laughs> and, um, congrats on the Ravens for picking up their first win. I don't like the fact that it's in week three, but you take what you can get. Um, and like I said, desperate teams are more desperate. But of course, the Ravens have a fourth quarter problem and can't seem to close teams out. And none of us want to admit it, but we might have a kicking problem too. And that makes me uneasy. But enough of that. Uh, let us go into our last week and see how we did overall. 7 and 9 straight up. Again, it was a, just an awful week for a lot of people. And I know, I took a couple gambles because, you know, I was just trying to feel it out. But I got the wrong upsets, apparently. So, that's on me. Uh, 8 and 8 against the spread, though, so you take that where you can. And 8 and 8 on the total still. Um, keeping us above 500 for those straight ups and those totals. Spread still needs some working but maybe we can gauge them out here next week or this week. Let's see how we do. Uh, starting off we have the first game we want to talk about and you would think we wouldn't need to talk about this game but that's how the season's unfolded so far. Hello Andy Dalton you have the chance to do the funniest thing imaginable and honestly I kind of want to see it do I think it'll happen probably but I kind of want to see it Carolina is hosting the Cincinnati Bengals the Bengals who I thought had a good defense just shit the bed against Jaden Daniels in the team out in DC so now I'm thinking do they have a good defense was that just New England not having an offense and KC just shit in the bed. KC's offense has been inconsistent as it is. They're not scoring a lot of points. I mean, enough for KC standards, but like, or enough for normal standards, but KC standards it's a little lacking. But we had that problem last year, so maybe KC's offense is not a good judge of character. Maybe, maybe. But I will say this: giving that up, all those points up to a rookie, make it look that good. You're asking questions. You're asking questions. In Carolina, who we wanted to leave for dead, I don't know if the Raiders are a good example or a good test to see the difference between Bryce Young and Andy Dalton, but Andy Dalton sure did his thing with no problems and no questions asked. So it makes you wonder. Well, Bryce Young has got a lot of questions that we'll definitely need to figure out. But Cincy, what's going on with you guys? Should we treat this as an outlier? You guys have been losing every game so far, so... Who knows? Who knows? But I think with a four and a half spread, you might want to grab that spread anyway. But, uh... This game could go either way. And again, Andy Dalton has a chance to do the funniest thing imaginable. So, it's... Why not? Wouldn't that be funny? I think that'd be hilarious. The gut instinct is that since he's gonna get back on track because it's the Bengals, they gotta get back on track. But uh trend say otherwise. So if the Bengals can't win this game, then they might as well just tank it in. I don't know, we shall see. I'm rolling with Carolina. I just think I Honestly, a part of it's for the meme. I think Andy Dalton has a chance to do the funniest thing imaginable, so I'm 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 kind of going with it. But either again, since he has 
not giving me any reason to believe that they should be a four and a half point favorite. Especially what, on the road? Yeah, since he's on the road. So, there's no reason they should be a four and a half point favorite. That means they'd be a seven and a half point favorite at home, and they got whipped at home. So, on Carolina, this team is a little juvenile now with Andy Dunn. The offense is flowing, though Adam Thielen on IR will be interesting. They lose the weapon, but that's why you bring in a Deontay Johnson. Proven guy, you be number one, catch plenty of passes. And yeah, want to run, run the ball, Chuba Hubbard, Miles Sanders. They got you. They got you. I'm rolling with Carolina. Fuck it, we ball. I think it'd be hilarious. So I'm rolling Carolina, but either way, I think you grab that four and a half. Maybe push it up, get some extra money or whatever. I roll with that four and a half, either way. <sighs> Steelers only being a one and a half point favorite don't make sense to me, so I'd roll that anyway. Uh, I guess the other game we talked about is Rams Bears. Rams unexpected comeback, but is that more Sam Fran shooting themselves in the face? In a game with no Debo or George Kittle or Christian McCaffrey, it's like. All right, Ayuk, you wanted all this money. You got all this money. Step up. Nah, Jawan Jenny's got it. What is it? He had like 10 catches for 175 yards or something along that line. And all three touchdowns. Apparently, Jawan Jennings is better than Brandon Ayuk. I don't know. Brandon Ayuk did not deserve 30 million. I could have told you all that from the get-go. Trade, trade him, get some assets. I hope Ricky heals from being shot in the chest, but you know. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Ain't my business. Ain't my business. But this Bears team, I don't know what they're going on. Maybe there's a little hope for that offense now. Maybe something's clicked. Maybe something's working. I don't know. I don't see it yet. So I'm, I, I, I kind of, I just don't want to pick the Bears. I don't trust them. The only reason they won the Titans game is because. Their defense and special teams fucking carried their asses. That's the only reason they won. The only reason the Bears have been relevant is because of that defense. Because any of their offense, maybe they're finding something, but I'm not. I, I'm not doing that. Especially with the Rams comeback. You know what? No Cooper. No Puka. I feel like I was singing a fucking song there for a sec. <laughs> Come on, pretty mama. No, no. I'm not picking the. I don't want to pick the Bears. I refuse. I refuse. They, they 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 have not earned it. And with the Rams comeback win, I'm giving them benefit of the doubt. Give me the Rams here. I. The Bears have not done anything to warrant picking. I don't trust that offense. I don't. Defense will do great. I don't trust the offense. So I'm rolling with the Rams. I think that's fair. An underrated game that I think could be fun. Cardinals and Commanders. Now, I'm not really going to go much into analysis. I'm going more into Arizona, or I'm leaning more Arizona for the sake of I do think this team has a chance to be good. And by good, I mean, you know, eight wins, nine wins, maybe sneak a tenth win since we don't know what's going on with San Francisco and Seattle. I love Seattle. I don't think this, this team is going to stay this way. I don't think they're going to win that division by any chance. So I think it's right there for Arizona to take. I trust the Seattle's defense. Offense is inconsistent. But I think Arizona has a chance to sneak in. If San Francisco is going to keep falling down like they are right now, I trust Arizona. DC, I like what they're doing. I like what they're doing. And at three and a half, you might want to grab that hook on DC side. But I'm rolling with Arizona. I think they are the better team. That's what I'm rolling with. And those are my beautiful picks. I'm gonna roll over here. We can say hi to the Maya Moon, who fell asleep over there. And in the words of my good friend Justin, the dogs are barking. Ain't that right, Maya? The dogs are barking. Bow woof. The dogs are barking. So, keep an eye out for that. Let's look over some of these picks. Cowboys, I don't know what to go with to gauge on these Cowboys, because as far as I'm concerned now, beating the Browns doesn't mean shit. Because their one was against the Jags, and they lost to the Jags. So, I don't know how to gauge the Cowboys. That being said, I do think they're better than the Jags. 
and I think they'll figure something out. But I'm also not laying five and a half to the Cowboys. Uh uh. Hell no. Do I think they should blow New York? Probably. But I'm giving Giants whenever they doubt. Jets, but if Denver can do what they did last week, this week, then I'm not laying seven and a half. And, which although uh right up off topic, but fuck you, Tampa Bay, for just not existing. I would have had to sh money. I would have won money. Had Tampa, you know, decided, oh, hey, we're 2-0 Tampa. This is 0-2 Denver. They have no offense. We are a great team. We shut down the Lions. Nope. Tampa didn't want to show up. Called the Seahawks dominating the Dolphins. Called the Bills dominating the Jags. Tampa didn't want to help me out here. That's cool. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm gonna give Denver a cover. I don't know if I want to lay seven to, to the Jets. Falcons over Saints, I'm going back to not being a believer in the Saints, so Falcons win. Falcons over Packers, I like what Malik's doing, but that defense is apparently shutting down everybody. So, Vikings defense, I'm relying on you. Texas over the Jags, Jags might be the worst team in football. They just might. TBD. Still, there were Colts. What happened to Anthony Richardson? He looked great against the Texans, but he's now shit himself twice. What's going on? It's crazy to me. Like I said, Rams, Bears, Eagles, I'll go back to bleeping the Eagles, especially after that performance for the Bucks. <sighs> Not over the Patriots. Lane 10 is kind of gross, but it is the Patriots. Niners should be fine. Chargers have been covered. Chiefs have not blown anyone out. They've won by a touchdown. Well, that, well a touchdown, that second field goal. What? Like, more than a field goal. <sighs> Even though they definitely should have lost that game. But you know what? Say la vie. Atlanta did, just doesn't want to do the smart play calling. It is what it is. But this is also another presumption that Herbert's playing. I will make the, the proclamation now. If Herbert does not play, I will switch that. But if Herbert does play, I think the Chargers cover. I don't think they're going to beat the Chiefs, but I think they cover. Raiders over Browns. I have no faith in Cleveland anymore. Uh, this feels awkward to say, but I'm taking the Bills over the Ravens. The Bills look great. The Ravens... I don't know how to gauge this team. Tough game against KC. Makes it close. Collapses against the Raiders for some reason. Go up 22 points on the Cowboys and then almost blow that in the fourth quarter. I don't want to pick the Ravens. I it's not about this Bills team. The Bills team look great, so I'm not gonna. Titans over Dolphins. I don't trust Taylor Thompson. If they're gonna play him, then I don't know what the hell they're doing. And even if they bring in some other backup, it's I I, I don't know. There's no way Will Levis does a dumb shit for the fourth consecutive game, right? Who cares? No one's gonna be watching that game anyway, because it's a doubleheader for a Monday nighter, and you got Lions Steelers on the other end. 3-0 Seattle, 2-1 Detroit, who Detroit's a top 5 team in the NFC for everyone. That'll be the fun game. I like the Lions to win, home team, and let's be real, Seattle has had some easy competition. Denver, New England, Miami without Tua. So, I like the Lions here. I, I do trust Seattle's defense, and I do like their head coach. So I trust that to make it a close game. So I'll have them cover 3.5, but I'm going with the Lions. And those are my picks. People over into fantasy. We went 2-4 and four in fantasy, including another loss in the LOA, dropping me to 0-3, the only league I don't have a win in yet. The LOA. Well, screw me, I guess. It is what it is. Um, but I'll take it, because in the Professional Dynasty League, a league where I'm not projected to do much of anything, I eked out a win against Justin. So you know what? Bragging rights against Justin for the week. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I think that I think that league is the only league I'm two and one in, which is crazy to think because that was like the least expectations I had for a team. So the fact that they're the only ones two and one, I'll take it. 
you could probably get in the playoffs with a losing record because both uh, Dynasty Leagues, it's 8 of the 12, so you can get in with a losing record. So I'm on a good pace right now. Only way is up after this. And with that, that is going to be all from me. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you join the NFL YouTube and Prognosticator Facebook page. Because I always forget to tag them. Link is in the description below. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, CanadianCatCP. Instagram, the blind Canadian Cat. Twitch exists. Even though I'm not doing anything with it, it does exist. Maybe we'll do something. I shit out of luck for me right now. And hop into my Discord, where you can see Merrick say the most insane shit possible. But you know what? That's Merrick for you, and we love him. And shout out to Sabrina and the New York Liberty for clinching the, the first round win over Atlanta. Uh, Sabrina dropping a career high 36 in the playoffs. Fuck yeah. Uh, and I hope we beat Vegas. This, this kind of scares me because like, I don't want to deal with them in the second round. They're, I don't care about record. Vegas is back to back for a reason. So I'm a little nervous. But I have faith. Come on, New York. Don't let me down. And with that, that is all from me. I am Catherine. That's Maya, Shihiro, and everyone in between. Thank you all for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Choose peace, accept love, and have big trust. Goodbye, everybody.